Today's Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection June 7, 2021 Monday The Monday of the Tenth Week in Ordinary Time We bless your name, O Lord, for sending your own incarnate Son to become part of a family, so that, as he lived its life, he would experience its worries and its joys. We ask you, Lord, to protect and watch over this family, so that in the strength of your grace its members may enjoy prosperity, possess the priceless gift of your peace, and, as the church alive in the home, bear witness in this world to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. First reading. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 1 to 7. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the church of God that is at Corinth, with all the holy ones throughout Achaia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all encouragement, who encourages us in our every affliction, so that we may be able to encourage those who are in any affliction with the encouragement with which we ourselves are encouraged by God. For as Christ's sufferings overflow to us, so through Christ does our encouragement also overflow. If we are afflicted, it is for your encouragement and salvation. If we are encouraged, it is for your encouragement, which enables you to endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Our hope for you is firm, for we know that as you share in the sufferings, you also share in the encouragement. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 34 verse 2 to 3, 4 to 5, 6 to 7 and 8 to 9 Let our response be, Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Response. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Response. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. Response. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. Response. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia. Matthew chapter 5 verse 12a. Alleluia, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 5 verse 1 to 12. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, 
for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord Before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell, so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions, and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video. The Reflection on Today's Gospel The Eight Beatitudes open in a solemn way the Sermon on the Mount. In them Jesus defines who can be considered blessed, who can enter into the Kingdom. There are eight categories of persons, eight entrance doors to the Kingdom. For the community, there are no other entrances. Anyone who wants to enter into the Kingdom should identify himself with at least one of these eight categories. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Jesus acknowledges the richness and the value of the poor. He defines his own mission in these words. To proclaim the good news to the poor. He himself lives in poverty. He possesses nothing for himself. Not even a stone where to rest his head. And to anyone who wants to follow him. He offers a choice God or money. In Luke's Gospel it is says. Blessed are you who are poor. But who is poor in spirit. It is the poor person who has the same spirit that animated Jesus. It is not the rich person, neither the poor person who has the mentality of a rich person. But rather it is the poor person who acts as Jesus. He thinks of the poor and recognizes the value in him. It is the poor person who says, I think that the world will be better when the little one who suffers thinks of the least. Bless the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Bless the meek, they shall have the earth as inheritance. Bless those who mourn, they will be consoled. Bless those who hunger and thirst for justice, they shall have their fill. Blessed are the merciful, they shall have mercy shown them. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, they shall be recognized as children of God. Bless those persecuted for the cause of justice, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The New Project of Life Every time that in the Bible they try to renew the covenant, they begin by re-establishing the rights of the poor and the excluded. Without this, the covenant cannot be renewed. This is the way the prophets did. This is how Jesus did. In the Beatitudes, he announces the new project of God which accepts the poor and the excluded. It denounces the system which excludes the poor and which persecutes those who fight for justice. The first category of the poor in spirit and the last category of those persecuted for the cause of justice receive the same promise of the kingdom of heaven. And they receive it beginning now, in the present. Because Jesus says, theirs is the kingdom. The kingdom is already present in their life. Between the first and the last category, there are six other categories which receive the promise of the Kingdom. In them there is the new project of life which wants to reconstruct life totally through a new type of relationship. With material goods for the first two. With persons among themselves for the second two. With God for the third two. The Christian community should be an example of this Kingdom. A place where the Kingdom begins and takes shape, beginning now. The Three Doers First one. The meek and those who mourn. They have been deprived of their land and they will inherit it again. Those who mourn are those who weep in the face of injustices in the world and in people. These two beatitudes want to reconstruct the relationship with material goods. The possession of the land and of the reconciled world. Second duo. Those who hunger and thirst for justice and the merciful. Those who are hungry and thirsty for justice are those who desire to renew human living together. In such a way that once again it may be according to the demands of justice. The merciful are those who feel in their heart the misery of others because they want to eliminate the inequality among brothers and sisters. These two beatitudes want to reconstruct the relationship among persons through the practice of justice and solidarity. 
third duo. The pure in heart and the peacemakers. The pure in heart are those who have a contemplative look which allows them to perceive the presence of God in everything. Those who promote peace, the peacemakers, will be called children of God, because they make an effort so that a new experience of God can penetrate in everything and can integrate all things. These two beatitudes want to build up the relationship with God, to see the presence of God which acts in everything, and be called son and daughter of God. The persecuted for the cause of justice and of the gospel. The beatitudes say exactly the contrary of what society in which we live says. In fact, in society, those who are persecuted for the cause of justice are considered as unhappy, wretched persons. The poor are unhappy. Blessed is the one who has money and can go to the supermarket and spend as she wishes. Blessed is the one who is hungry for power. The unhappy and wretched are the poor. Those who weep. In television, the soap operas diffuse this myth of the happy and fulfilled person. And without being aware, the soap operas become the model of life for many of us. Is there still place in our society for these words of Jesus? Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of justice and of the gospel. Blessed are the poor. Blessed are those who weep. And from my own perspective, being a Christian, whom do I consider blessed?